I've just spent ages organizing these pigments. I just, I wanted to be able to see them all and feel like I could just like be in the mood to create and come in and just see and be like that one, that one, that one and ready to go. And so I moved them all from bags into these little um, pigment containers and some of my bigger ones ended up in ones these size or ones these size and like I even moved my hollow glitters into these ones and like it's so aesthetic I really am pleased even though I have spent a lot of today doing that I got a shelving unit that I put together yesterday and I'm trying to organize them in there but I am not exactly sure but they did come in like these cool little cases and I kind of originally thought about having all the little pigment jars out of here and then using the cases for something else but now I'm realizing I could just keep them in here um, because I can still see them most of them um, and so yeah I, I don't know I even bought a label maker just for this but I'm sure I'll use it for other things as well I decided to take them out. I probably need to rearrange this. I have this hanging over here, this one hanging over here, just to get that aesthetic line up the front. So I've just come into my office. I don't feel like I have organized them the correct way. So currently when I pour tables, I usually have them sitting like about here. In this type, it's all right because the resin won't get out of the edges. But if it's something um, where the resin's going to flow over, I kind of feel like maybe the cube unit is just like too in the way. And I originally wanted to get some sort of like shelving unit to uh, attach to the wall, like take down the Mario stickers and put up shelves here. I could always take this cube unit and put it down underneath the table and I'm wondering whether I've gone the wrong route and I should get some wall shelves. All right, so I've done some more research and I found these floating photo shelves and it looks reasonably easy to install. Hopefully I don't mess it up, but 1200 mil, I've got 1260 mil on this wall over here. So that's 1260 from this to this. So I'm currently thinking about that, but I have um, packed away these again, and I'm going to just take all this down. I've decided I need more table space. I'm going to move that under the table, and then I'll take down the Mario stickers and assess being able to put up these wall shelves and go off to Bunnings and grab three to begin with, three, um, and then I will have enough for what I've currently got in pigments, but I could later buy some more and do more of them if I want to do like paints or I get more pigments or glitters. I don't know. Um, for now, if I get three, I'm up for like almost 50 bucks. <laughs> Money just disappearing. <laughs> but I just really want organization. I really want it, so I'm going to do it. Now I feel like I've taken a step backwards because all my pigments are out on the table. But I did move this down here. Now I'm going to take down the Mario stickers, I reckon. There we go. Goodbye, Mario and friends. <laughs> They're all gone from my wall, but you have been there for three years. They're all starting to fall off the wall, so they're gone, and I'm going to put up these shelves. I don't know what I'm doing with my studio lights because currently this light doesn't work. I need to get the electrician out to fix that. I also just wanted to show you, I finally got a canvas made up of this print and I absolutely love it. It just is so gorgeous. And um, it's come out really nice. I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet, but uh, it's nice to see my Gabby again. Really just embodies her whole spirit.
Hey guys, so I got my sunglasses order. So these are the current pairs that I've been wearing. Then I have my current pair of sunglasses right here, which look like that. Not the most flattering, but they've been doing me well for two and a half years. And now I have my new prescriptions. So uh, I'll show you the sunglasses first, actually, because I have to tell you about the others. Uh, so this lovely case and then here they are they're Alex Perry there we go so very gorgeous and here they are so they're quite a bigger frame I don't know got used to them as well it's very strange because they're a new prescription so um, I'm gonna have to take a little while to adjust to that level of strength being able to see things oh my god i know there's sunnies but like they're so much sharper uh and then i have my old frames which look like this and they got sent off and got new lenses in them uh but unfortunately when we got them back and um they were trying to make sure that they fit me still uh, they were feeling a bit loose so they went to try and fix it and it was very difficult for them and the plastic covers broke on them so now i have like some if i can show you like some black ones and they've ordered some brown to come in and um, be fitted on these but for now i've got these ones which are uh, i don't know they're fine they're fine um, and here's my frames and Yes, it feels like super weird right now how strong the prescription is. But wow, I can read all the way across the room. Um, I'm kind of like feeling a little bit nervous about changing the prescription over. And I know it's only going to take like half an hour and then I'll feel fine again. But yeah, so uh, get used to seeing me in my lighter frames in the future. I may get these changed over. I do find these really comfortable and they're pretty and they suit me. Um, but these also, like, they suited me a few years ago and I think they'll suit me quite nicely now as well. Just got to get used to the prescription. I think I should adjust to these sitting around at home. Currently, it feels really difficult for my eyes to look at the camera and then look past the camera. Cause it's like oh god i don't know how to focus on that i guess i can spend the next half hour just sitting here so yeah anyway i have my new frames and i'll soon have the right covers on these and whatever i don't know such a strange experience i also wanted to show you this really cute um thing i picked up this right here one cat short of crazy. I feel like that perfectly describes me. <laughs> I have to go to Bunnings now and get those shelving units. But firstly, I need to find the stud reader and put this battery in it and check the wall to make sure that I can even do this. I'm feeling completely deflated because I got the stud finder working and it just wouldn't shut up. This is what I'm talking about. I don't think... I don't think this one's very good. I don't know what I can trust. I know there's a power point down here. And it makes sense that the, the cable would run up the stud or in between two studs. Oh. So then I tried this wall and this thing was also going nuts. So I'm just too tired now too tired the store's gonna close in 15 minutes i was gonna go and have like 45 to an hour of time we'll forget this problem until tomorrow i was just like really enthused to get all my pigments looking good <laughs> this is the noise i've woken up to this morning well just random men yelling. So now I'm awake. Now I've run myself a bath because there's no sleeping. <laughs> Luckily I went to bed like early for me, about like 
won something out of the sleep, that still doesn't mean that I got enough sleep to be waking up at like 8.30 to men shouting. So I, would, I thought I was going to catch up today, but I didn't, and now I'm going to have a bath. <laughs> didn't actually explain, they're up on my next door neighbor's roof at the moment. I don't know what they're doing, maybe solar panels, they're taking rivets off the roof, um, which is noisy. So. Hi guys, I am having a fault with my GoPro Hero 9. I experienced this the other night and I knew that one battery had gotten low, so I got my other one out, which I believe was charged, and I popped that in and I still couldn't get it to turn on. It was just flashing this red light. So I thought, okay, well maybe you hadn't got that one charged. Um, so I went and I charged both of my batteries again and now that I go to put one in, I'm getting this red light. So it's not just the battery is dead. So here we go, put that battery in, make sure it's clicked in nicely. And there we go, we're getting this flash. Yeah, I was like, you're gonna do it, right? <laughs> okay, so that's what's happening. I've not pressed any buttons. All I've done is inserted the battery. Um, Obviously, I could have the door on at the moment. It's not going to make any difference. So that's flashing now. I will try and turn it on. And we continue to get flashing. Usually it would only flash when it had recognized my touch and was starting to turn on. Uh, so I'm not sure what this means. <laughs> but it does mean that my camera is not turning on. And it's currently February, I think, 3rd, yeah, February 3rd. Uh, I'm not sure what date these came out, but I got this one a couple of weeks after its release. And I've done everything correctly with it. I've used it with the media mod, or if I've, uh, I've gone into water with it twice and I had the door on it and it was completely sealed up. So I don't know why this is happening. This is really disappointing, but I'm going to remove the battery. I'll also show you, just so you're sure, here's the second battery. One flash, and we start with like three, I think. Yep, three, stay solid. What does this mean? Look, now it's gone off. Are we going to have more flashes? Look, yes, we've got more flashes again. Man. Anyway, I'll let you know how that pans out. Had my bath. So I have a little bit of an update on the shelving situation. I uh, spoke with my mum and spoke with my dad last night and uh, they're going to come over today and help me with this whole shelving thing. I also looked up um, a YouTube video on how to calibrate this right and all the comments were like, using this my whole house it has live wires like everywhere in every single room it's um obviously a bit of a dodgy machine it's not just me going insane so i'm gonna run off to bunnings now and buy some of these shelves and then mum and dad are coming over and dad's gonna help me so i'm not sure whether i should get the slightly narrower ones these are the 900 and that's what the 1200 ones look like those are the two widths there. I need four of the smaller ones or three of the bigger ones, but the smaller ones are $13 something and the bigger ones are $15 something. And I end up spending more if I go for the shorter ones, but then perhaps the shorter ones look better in the space. So I ended up buying both sizes just to be able to see in person. Um, I bought enough to do the whole job. So I don't have to make another trip back to Bunnings, but I will have to make another trip back to Bunnings to return whichever ones I choose not to go for. Uh, here is the 1200 mil one, and here's the 900 mil one. I am leaning towards the longer one because it does fit there, and it ends up costing less. Example A. Example B. <laughs> Well, Dad accidentally drilled into uh, my mark of the level instead of the mark of where the shelf needed to go. So I do need to just take this shelf off and um, put some filler into this hole and then put the shelf back on once it's dried. But 
I am really happy with how they're looking. Like, it's going to be awesome. I'll show you, like, put a couple of these up. They're just so perfect. I'm just so glad it's done and it was so much easier with two people and like dad's just usually not um around to be able to call on but it, I just lucked out he was here in the middle of the week yay so much better than I was last night and also my screwdriver dad had a look at it and he reckons it's just not powerful enough so it's not all me <laughs> not all me <laughs> oh this is great I'm gonna fill this hole on the bottom shelf and start putting the pigments into the top two So I just did a Google search on GoPro Hero 9 not turning on and the first thing that they suggested was to remove the SD card. I thought well, I haven't done that. Well, micro SD card. And then replace the battery so may as well film it and see what happens. Right I don't think we're having flashing so now I'm going to hold it for about 10 seconds is what he said. Oh. There we go. <laughs> It's turned on it says um, no SD yeah so now if I reinsert my SD card it has frozen the screen let's take it out again frozen screen try and turn it off right Completely frozen, removing the battery. Put the battery back in. Press and hold. Nope. Press and hold. And we're back on. So now I'm going to swap over to this other one, which I've also used in here. So it should be fine. It's really difficult to do without um being able to see. There we go. Right. We don't have any freezing and now I have a time. So I'm guessing that it must be something to do with this little micro SD card. So I might try formatting it. It really does pay to do a little bit of research before I like freaked out and sent this off. But there was something strange that did happen um, with the media mod on the other day so I'm still gonna have to like watch it um, having the media mod on it didn't actually recognize any sound it was meant to be coming out of the front media mic mod uh, media mod mic but instead it was just complete silence so I don't know let me um, pop the media mod on and see if I can film something with audio on on this is a little audio test of the GoPro Hero 9's media mod. This is a little audio test of the So sound is GoPro coming Hero through at the moment. Media mod. Hopefully it doesn't do that to me again in the future. I'm glad that I have it working again. False alarm or perhaps potential alarm for the future. I think I'm going to take Zoe to the dog park and then later on I'll go return those shells at Bunnings. Actually, just quickly, I just um, looked at what the files were, played them, and two of the files are the ones that didn't have audio, and then the other two were just after that when I was um, making sure that I was getting audio through, and I think that was without the media mod, and then I believe after that is when it stopped working. So perhaps those two files are actually somehow corrupted, uh, and that's why it was doing this I, I don't know I can still play them but there's just no sound anyway 
I'm so happy with this. It's so pretty. But I do feel like perhaps I could have a fourth one. So I'm thinking about getting one more just to put up here and then perhaps store like some paints on this one and maybe some some of my glitters and stuff but overall really happy so i've got the fourth shelf and i'm gonna put it up now says there's a stud. I'm going to check on the picture that I found whether there is a stud there or not. So it looks like there's a gap. That's incredible. That's not gripping onto anything so I'm gonna to have to take down the shelf now. So this is an old photo that I found. You see how right here there's like a gap in between these studs. I think that's right where I've ended up. It's just through plasterboard on that side, so I'm gonna to have to take it down and put up another wall plug. It just is what it is, you know. Please work for me, please work for me, please work for me. Try this again. Take off. along here all the uh, plasterboard dust and then I can put my pigments back and then I have more space above. And plenty of room to grow. I might even put some of my other glitters up there. Oh it's so exciting! This makes me so happy! Anyway, <laughs> it's late, I'm so tired, but I just had to do this before I went to bed. So that was that. Good morning, guys. I haven't been up long, so sorry, my voice is a bit meh. Um, I just got an order through from Riot Art and Craft. I made this order a couple of weeks ago. So I bought a couple of small 8x10 canvas panel boards. I got two of these make your own multicolored candle kits so that both mum and I can um, spend some time trying to make some candles possibly film it show you guys how we go i got two of these 10 by 20 canvas panels fine paint pen they were a dollar each so i figured they were worth a try got some pigments oh this is pretty oh i like it what what's the name of this one jade this one is called jade that is extremely pretty this one is in shimmer gold a no, brilliant gold this one here is in 
duo red blue I believe yes so it's sort of like this purpley color I actually have the uh, Pearl X version duo red blue so I was really interested to see what the uh, comparison was like and these three pigments were $3.99 each and they're usually $12.99 each so I felt like it was definitely worth getting a few last thing I have are these canvas panels in 16 by 20 so they're actually quite big I think they were $5 something so there we go oops sorry sorry Anna it didn't actually hit you just shook the bed I'm gonna go about my day now they look pretty similar let's look inside of them yep look pretty similar probably didn't need to buy that one <laughs> well four bucks I've got some more of it so when I first started out I made a whole bunch of little like samples of different pigments that I had at the time and I just realized that they kind well most of them fit in the shelf in front of their <laughs> little counterparts. So I decided to put them up there, but unfortunately there's some newer pigments I haven't done this for. Some of them are kind of big, um, but yeah, I like that it's sort of like started. I picked up this draw unit insert uh, from a charity shop for I think $6. And it's one from Ikea, like to go into these cube units and it costs $25 normally. Now it has discolored a bit, but that doesn't bother me. I now have two drawer sections. Now the only thing is you're meant to, let me see if I can tell this out one-handed. Yes. Okay. You're meant to screw it into the cube with the uh, provided screws into those two holes there. Of course those screws weren't with it. So I have some timber screws and I think they'll do the trick just to go in there. Done. Little screws are in. Now I can have resistance. Good. Okay. Today's quite a chill day. I'm just sitting here on the couch having cuddles with my babe, watching some TV. Uh, I did a couple of things a little earlier, but yeah. I think I might get into some editing in a little bit, but for now it's a rainy day and I got a lot of sleep last night to finally catch up, but I'm feeling pretty good. I've spent a lot of today editing and I've just gotten to the end of the vlog and I just want to close it out now. Obviously I have not finished my office, but I've gotten to a certain stage and the vlog is long enough now, so if I continue um, organizing in here, which I imagine I will. I will film it and give a part two to this video, but getting those shelves up has really transformed the room. Um, now it's just pretty much tidying and getting things uh, where they should go. So yeah, not too much ahead of me, uh, but yeah, I hope you're having a good day and I will see you again very soon. See ya.